All right, Dave and Tiffany, I'm doing this video uh, in case uh, you want to know how to run this rocket stove properly. Okay, it's got all that quartz and brick and stuff on top of it and all around it. So you want to heat that up as hot as you can for the next three hours or so. And what I do is you notice I have all my wood cut, ready to go. I I have a bin over there with a machete and I a block and I chop it on there and get it all ready. Some all pieces. To, I have some uh, cedar and some just two by fours that I cut up and and uh, got from construction sites for free. And the thing is, you put a piece of paper down in there and only fill it up about a quarter of the way, no more than half. Uh, to get it going first and then you add more wood to it. If you fill it up too much at front or at first, it'll backdraft on you. You got to let it get lots of air to get going and it build up that uh, draw up the chimney uh, in and around the uh, the chamber and then up the chimney. So, uh, sorry, Bella. Out of the way. Come on. Out. Out of the way. All right. So here goes. Watch out, Jack. Look out. <laughs> And I just roll up some paper, crumple it up, not laying it flat. If you lay it flat, it goes out too fast. You got to crumple it up and then on top of the cedar. So you'll see a live thing, how this works. With a bunch of animals crossing in between. <laughs> okay. So you see how it just barely, it starts at this end. It starts burning from this end and it'll burn all the way straight through. The draw sucks the fire through. See, now you can see it even igniting at the other end. You got to leave it. You never pack it so that it gets too tight. You got to leave it really loose and just only burn light stuff. This is light fur and whatnot, and it can be split up. But literally, you don't want green wood in there. You want very dry and small splintered pieces. And the only drawback is that with this being so small that you're going to have to uh, feed it every 20 minutes. <laughs> but like I said, you only got to do it a few hours and then it'll radiate heat for double that time uh, afterwards. Anyways, okay, so you see how it's going now. In a little bit, you're going to see it really take off. There, see it starting in the back. And why they call it a rocket stove, you will see in a minute. Try to be quiet so you hear it. Believe it or not, when this exhaust goes up the chimney the smoke is cold it doesn't even heat the chimney up not unless you burn this for like six hours straight get it super hot and then the chimney gets a little warm that's about it but other than that this actually cool all the heat goes into the brick because the smoke swirls around and stays in there it's only the colder exhaust that goes up the chimney See, this is just barely getting started. It's building up the uh, draft because um, of the cold temperature outside. I'm going to uh, just pause for a little bit, let that burn down a bit, and then once it gets going, and that draw gets burnt through that wood, you'll hear it rocket. Here it sort of start now. Maybe I'll just leave it. It's only four minutes, four and a half minutes so far. Hi, Jack. Hey, Jack's all excited to become a sea salty dog. A salty sea dog. Are you a salty sea dog, Jack? Are you going to become a salty sea dog? How about Bella? Bella, are you going to become a salty sea dog? Yeah, we're going to change the name of the boat to the salty sea dog. <laughs> okay.
boy, does it make the house nice and warm and toasty and dry, humidity, just perfect. <coughs> and also the fire is very romantic. You can heat it with propane or you can heat it with wood. Oh, I usually have a thing. Yeah, sir. Where's my rubber thing? I forgot to put this down. You got to have a rubber mat. You got to have a rubber mat in front of it because coals will fall out. And then I put this thing back up in here like this. Like that. See? Hey, Dolly, you gonna become a salty sea kitty? Hmm? Old girl, you gonna become a salty sea kitty? Jack is, oh, he's dreaming about it already. Huh? You dreaming about standing on the bow and smelling everything that comes our way? Oh, Jackie boy. Okay, we'll see. If it's meant to be, it's meant to be. All right, no, no, Daddy's doing something here. Hold on. Okay, now she's talking. Hey, Jack. You get the idea anyways. I gotta go deal with Jack here. He's not gonna let me do this. Hey, Jack. Ow!